Hey everyone, a quick video um, about removing shellac from Russian rifle parts. Um, as you know, most Russian parts are coated in a nice thick layer of shellac, and most people have asked, how do you get this shit off? Um, I have found that the typical uh, paint strippers that you can find at like Home Depot or Lowe's don't seem to work very well. Um, it seems like they end up um, not being strong enough. Uh, one of the simplest things that you can use and you can get fairly cheap is denatured alcohol. Buy it for about 20 bucks a gallon with tax, get it at any uh, hardware store. Uh, and simply all you do is just let your parts soak. Um, you can scrub a little bit if you like, um, but what it actually does is it starts to remove the layers of shellac and it gives you a nice uh, very basic wood finish. Um, you don't really have to even do a lot of scrubbing. The stuff just sort of melts off over time. This, I don't have my long tank available, so this one I'm just going to use. But you can actually see it starting to come off in the shellac, or, sorry, in the, uh, the, the alcohol. And I'm basically just going to use one of those uh, Scotch Brite uh, gray scrubbing pads and just very lightly scrub this stuff into the surface. Doesn't have a super offensive smell. Probably not the greatest for your brain cells, but it's not like acetone or something, um, you know, that has a really harsh, harsh smell to it. Um, so you basically just kind of, kind of soak everything and then just lightly scrub the stuff off. And like I said, it just, the, um, the shellac literally just melts right off. Uh, same thing on here. You can tell if it doesn't have shellac if you go to uh, remove it and it just won't budge, which basically means that you either have a varnish or something else on top of it. But you can see with just a little bit of scrubbing uh, where it just literally just starts coming right off. Uh, the longer you soak it, the better it does. If you have a big enough pot or whatnot, you can actually let it soak overnight. And when you come back in the morning, just give it a, just a little quick rinse and scrub and that's it. I mean, it's pretty much done. Um, what it does is it completely just melts it and um, leaves it nice and bare for whatever top coat you're going to put on there. Um, some of these, this is, these are actually uh, listed on Gunbroker as refinished. Um, they're kind of nasty, so, and I like putting my fancy finishes on them. So typically what I do is I'll just soak them, uh, let, them let them sit for a while, scrub off all of the... Uh, Scrub off all of the excess shellac on them, um, let them dry thoroughly, and then from there you can just go and put whatever finish you want on them. Uh, same thing with the Mosin the Gaunt. This Mosin the Gaunt, I actually have two Mosin the Gaunts that I'm going to be re snipering, which means they used to be snipers. Um, I'm going to put them back to original sniper configuration. So we'll get that in another video, but in the meantime, I want to get the stock stripped down and nice and clean. So that way I'll have a nice, you know, fresh finish to start with. And this is pretty much done actually. The stuff just kind of melted right off. You can see once it dries, it'll be nice and, uh, nice and clean, nice and, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the wood will be nice, like very, very white. Uh, it also gets a lot of the impurities out. Here you can see again, typical of the shellac on a Mose and the Gaunt where it starts to crack and peel. Very, very normal. You know, the Russians, when they refinish these things, basically would just slap another coat over the original shellac because it would melt um, the coat underneath. Um, and obviously they weren't looking for aesthetics, they were just looking for something that was usable and would protect the finish uh, during battle. Also, that was easy to fix. So, I'm just gonna scrub this, and I love laminated stocks. If I haven't mentioned that before, you can see this stuff. This is actually a fairly thin layer of shellac, so this stuff is just kind of just melting right off. You don't even really need to scrub that hard. You basically just need to get it wet, let the, the uh, denatured alcohol uh, do its job, and then just start scrubbing. And then pretty soon you will see this nasty old finish melting away into your pot. Again, you can see where you can actually see the difference of where 
the shellac the, has been scrubbed off and when the shellac is still active. So we're going to work on the butt. In a perfect world, I would love to have a couple of big tanks I could just dunk this stuff in and come back in 24 hours or 12 hours and the, you know, the thing would be completely melted and perfect. But since we don't have a perfect world, a pot will have to do. So I'm going to scrub this for another probably several minutes to get all the existing shellac off and then I'll show you what the stock looks like uh, afterwards and then we can plan on doing a refinish on this. This one's actually going to need to be cut into uh, to bring the sniper uh, aspect back. We have to inlet the right side, oh, sorry, the left side of the receiver for the scope mount. So I'll show you how to do that along with um, locating the original holes on the sniper and drilling them and tapping them and making sure that your sight base is aligned properly and whatnot and make, bring this thing back to its former original glory. So stay tuned. Like I said, when I come back, this thing all should be nice and clean and won't have you sitting there bored out of your mind watching this. So stand by. Okay, we're back. Uh, this is, this probably took about 15 minutes tops worth of work. Um, the stock is still drying. Uh, but with the shellac out of it, you can actually see some of the cool little stock stamps. Then they do the arsenal refurbs or whatnot. Some there, there's some there, there's one there. Um, there's also a nice one here um, and here. Um, typically these are sanded down and of course the shellac fills them uh, when they do the, uh, the, the refurb process. And so a lot of this stuff just sort of gets lost. Um, taking the shellac out of the stock actually allows some of these stock stamps to to, uh, to come out. Um, so after this, basically, it's just a matter of uh, refinishing and top coating and then uh, going from there. Uh, this one came off of uh, a snipered rifle or an ex-sniper. You can see actually, oddly enough, they did some arsenal repairs to it, which seems a little strange. I haven't seen too many of those on a Mosin the Gaunt. There's one back there. Uh, and then here is where the, the sniper scope uh, mount would have been. It seems awful generous. There it is. Seems awful generous on that side, so maybe they prepared something else, but who knows. Um, the same is for the laminate stock. You can see the laminate is nice and beautiful. All the shellac is off of it. The, the, uh, the wood is clean. You can probably go over the top a little bit, get a little bit of the shellac off the top. I can do that with a scrub brush. Um, but yeah, this is ready for refinishing. Uh, both the upper hand guards also look really, really nice. Um, and again, these are ready to go. Oddly enough, one of these is a tad bit short, which is kind of interesting. Never noticed that one seems to be shorter than the other, so I'll check that out later. Um, still soaking this Russian pistol grip um, just because it seems to have multiple layers of stuff on it. So, you know, don't be afraid to let this thing soak overnight. Um, you may find that if there's, um, if you let it soak too long, that it actually might uh, swell up and not really in a good way. Um, if I come back in a couple of hours, most of this should be gone off, and then I can probably just uh, hit it with some degreaser and whatnot and get the rest of it off. Again, these are refinished AK-47 uh, or AK-74 pistol grips and laminate. Um, and the refinished process is not anything that's really in depth. It's basically just slap another coat on. Uh, here's also one that was done with, this is a Romanian buttstock. Uh, this was done with uh, denatured alcohol. And then I actually put this in the dishwasher. Uh, this thing was black. Um, there's one from a Romanian dong. So you can kind of see the difference. Uh, this one's more of a red wood. This is more of a whiter wood. Um, but yeah, once you get all of the, the crap off of the stock, um, you can put it in the dishwasher uh, on the, the hot wash setting. Don't use the heated uh, dry setting because it may tend to crack it. And you may actually find, especially with some of these... Uh, thinner hand guards that you actually might start developing cracks. Uh, not a big deal, you end up fixing them, but it's just one thing you got to do um, extra if you don't want to do it. So, um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Like I said, this is just a quick primer on how to remove shack from, or shellac from a typical Mosin the Gaunt rifle or any other rifle that was shellac. It was mainly the Russian guns. Uh, it's super simple. Like I said, denatured alcohol, buy it at any uh, hardware store. Um, 20 bucks for a gallon and it'll last you for quite a while and just let it soak, scrub it off and the stuff literally melts off like butter. So any questions, hit me up, militaryguy702 at gmail.com. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.